Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining the webinar. Today I'm going to walk you through the new in-session experience for GoToMeeting. So as you can see, this is the pre-meeting setup and there's a lot of cool stuff we can do here. I can decide whether or not I have my camera on when I join the meeting or off. You can personalize this photo here and change your name to whatever you like. Um, that will stay true um, for future meetings as well. You can decide whether or not to join the meeting with your microphone off. Mirror your video is a cool feature, so you can do exactly what that sounds like, mirror your video. And this is great if you have a whiteboard behind you because the one you draw or do any kind of um, visual presentation, it can reflect that accurately back to the people watching you on the meeting. You can also decide whether or not to join with your computer audio or call in by phone. Additionally, there is a virtual background option and you can choose from different ones here before starting. So as you can see, I have my camera on. I'm going to turn my microphone on for this meeting as well and join it. Hi team. These are some, thanks everyone for joining. These are some of my coworkers and they're gonna help being, be helping me demonstrate GoToMeeting today. So I'm gonna walk through some of the in-session features. Starting from the left right here, we have the record session option. This is exactly what it sounds like. GoToMeeting can record your meetings and um, it will send you a follow-up email afterwards. When you look at the recording, you can also see transcripts of the meetings if the meeting was in English. We have a really cool hand raise feature, which is new with the new experience. Um, if everyone could do me a favor and raise their hands, please. Awesome, thank you. So as you can see, it shows the hand raisers in order and I have the option to lower everyone's hands once I'm done. Um, in this uh, icon, if you click this button, you can also have the option for different emoji reactions. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Ankita. Cool, so here is how you toggle your microphone and your camera. If you click this um, arrow, you have a bunch of different camera settings the option to immediately blur your background or select virtual background. And over here we can share our screen. I'm gonna walk through the settings tab really quickly as well. Here is um, the chat function. We have the option to chat to organizers only, presenters only, or individuals. Otherwise, everyone will see our chats. Here is um, the people drop down menu. This lets you do a lot of managing your meeting. So as you can see, I have made Josh and Enkido organizers previously. I can also do that with Santiago. I can make sure to keep him muted if necessary. I can um, excuse him and have him leave the meeting or elevate his status. I'm not going to demonstrate kicking you out, Santiago, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks for the react. Finally, we have here um, the breakout room function, which I'm going to show you right now. A quick caveat is you cannot lock sessions um, if you are using the breakout rooms feature, but otherwise it's really easy to do. I can decide how many breakout rooms I want here. I'll only do two because we have a fairly small group in this meeting. And GoToMeeting has the option to either automatically assign people to different rooms or to let you choose the assignment. So I will pick today. And as you can see, it's really easy to just drop people into some rooms. And to start the breakouts, all I have to do is click this button. If I wanted to shuffle, I could do that as well here. So I'm going to send two of you off into a breakout room really quickly just to demonstrate. And then I'll bring you back. Bye. <laughs> All right, so me and Ankita are just hanging out here for a bit. As you can see, I have the option to join their breakout room quickly here. 
or end the breakout rooms, which I'll do now. It takes a few seconds and there is a pop-up that will let everyone know that the breakouts are going to be over soon. So in nine seconds, Josh and Santiago should be able to join back. Awesome. So here they are. And as you can see, they are demonstrating the um, blurred background and virtual background function. So there's a bunch of different ways to turn that on. We saw that in the pre-session screen in the um, arrow drop up, I guess, for the camera function, and as well as in settings. Um, all you have to do is click camera, and then you can choose from a variety of virtual backgrounds or add your own. And Josh decided to be in the woods today. Santiago has just turned off his blurring function and turned it back on, as you can see. And those are some of the really cool things that you can do with GoToMeeting. So one last thing I want to demonstrate before we go is the screen share option. So as you can see here, we have the entire screen. I have two monitors available and I can choose which one to show. Or I can go by window or Chrome tabs. So I'm just gonna show this screen quickly. And if we want to share something else, we can do that or pause sharing. So even if I switch to a different screen on my second monitor, you won't see the change, although this is what it looks like when I resume sharing. Cool. So that's everything I wanted to run through today on top of some flexible viewing options. Thanks so much, Ankita. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll go back to the webinar shortly. Thanks, everyone.